What's up guys, it's your boy, Sawan Belcher. This is me taking action. Uh, today, hang out with me. We're actually gonna go to Home Depot and pick up a few things that I need for one of my flips. Um, see this property that we're listing, um, probably next week, but maybe the week after that. Um, it's like in the 260, 280 range. You know, that kind of range we're gonna be listing at. I think we're listing at 279. But in your flips, you don't want your contractors to be picking out um you know your light fixtures you know your mirror you know so i figure we i figure i'll take you along the journey with me today see the little chick is back there look chick 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 little chick 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 <laughs> i figure i'll take you guys with me real quick um so that way you guys can check out um you know some of the stuff that we're picking out and check out one of the rehabs that we got going on so uh, if you guys like buying houses with none of your own money hang around a little bit real quick before we go you see that chick 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 babies you see that chick and look at you so beautiful right there chick 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 baby chick 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 baby <laughs> had a lot of this right here cleared out this was like crazy tall last year but i had it cleared out and then uh this year i actually had the creek cleared out even more because i love seeing the creek you know fill up with water and flow let me see if i can get you guys closer it's still flowing it was just raining like crazy can you guys see the creek there oh i don't know if you guys can hear it ah oh, i just love i just love the creek that's one of the bridges we got two bridges one bridge here and that bridge over there that one's more so for tractors yeah i love my i love my creek and I got it, I cleared it, I ended up clearing it all the way down. Yeah, so I, cl I cleared the creek all the way down because I wanted to be able to look from that end of the property all the way down here and just be able to see the water flowing. Like, you know, one of the things that one of my investor friends was telling me that, you know, like it's great, you know, it's great to, uh, you know, see your land when it's nice and it's sunny and stuff like that. But it's, he said, it's, it's way better to see your property when it's raining. And you can see where the water flows and if it's going in the direction it needs to go or if it's flooding or, you know, if it holds water a lot and those kinds of things. And uh, so I love seeing the water flow all the way down. See, this area, I got to clean this up just a little bit more. See, there was like debris and trees on both sides. And so I just got to clear it out a little bit more. It's crazy how much water actually fills. This thing was filled up about an hour ago. And then over here, we got the beautiful, illustrious... I still got to put some compost in those and get some annuals in those, but I want to go ahead and get my perennials down. So I got some uh, blueberry here, another blueberry there. This is uh this one is staying small, but it's a cherry. I got some elderberry right there. This is an elderberry. Uh, these right here are blackberries. These are blackberries. I believe that these have thorns in them and these are thornless. And then I forget what this is. I don't know, I forget. That right there, that's another blueberry. Of course, all of these on the vines. Of course, those are great vines. And I got plums, pears, apples, lots of everything. Got some figs down there. So you guys will see more of this as it continues to grow up. Oh, I got some prickly pear down there. You guys know I love prickly pear for y'all, for those of y'all that's been around for a while. Anyway. Let's bust a move. Let's get up out of here. Let's head to Home Depot so we can drop this stuff off to Mr. Jesus. Let's get it. I don't know if I was able to get that on camera or not, but it was a couple of deer passing by. Um, but look, you guys know that if you, uh, well, if you're watching this channel, then you guys know or should know that in order to get into real estate investing by way of fixing and flipping property, you don't have to use any of your money, okay? Um, now, I know this still might be a new concept to you all, but I'm gonna do my best to explain um how and why real quick just a very general concept and then you guys can go through some of the other videos so you can get more detail because this is more of like a vlog style i don't want to preach too much in this 
but essentially as a real estate investor um, for us to be able to do this full-time for a living if we have to do a deal and make money right then that means that we have to be able to uh, to do transactions right without using our own money we have to be able to do these real estate transactions buy these houses whether they're um, whether they're pretty or whether they're not you know and be able to walk away at closing with the check so that way we can you know remain full-time you know pay our bills feed our family put gas in the truck all those good things so the question remains is well how are all of these investors quote unquote full-time you know um, and how are they making money when they're supposed to be buying houses because if they're buying are they supposed to be making an exchange of money okay now that's where most people go wrong because the exchange is made in a sale right but it doesn't necessarily always have to be you know um, the transaction doesn't always have to be money now doesn't mean there's not money involved it just doesn't necessarily have to be your money you see in a real estate transaction there's time money and knowledge that goes into doing a deal that goes into acquiring the deal negotiating the deal you know buying the deal making the strategy work and then also being able to make money whenever that is so it takes three things time knowledge and money now for real estate investors what you should specialize in as a real estate as a full-time real estate investor is you should you know focus on the time okay because that's what a lot of people don't have okay and then also you should focus on the um the knowledge part okay that's what a lot of people don't have the time to actually learn and know or they don't have the balls to actually implement but you do and so because you bring these two things to the table you'll be able to create opportunities where other people will give you money and the reason why they'll give you money okay is because you're able to find opportunities that no one else can find now let me give an example this particular house that uh that we're buying stuff for today is in one of the best zip codes 27408 uh, in greensboro north carolina and uh that's right off of battleground so if you got a deal in the area because you're local and know somebody local email me i'm always buying but this is in a great school district it's in a good area that people want to live in um but also we was able to connect with a seller before she put it on the market now uh, I'm not going to tell you this marketing strategy that I use to get this lead, um, but it has to do with agents. <laughs> it has to do with agents, and it's not going to be your normal pocket listings and things like that. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's actually a really great strategy that I share with uh, a lot of my higher level uh, you know, students. But this realtor bought it to me because he told the seller that this house was not fit for the MLS, and it wasn't. And that's because the house was literally in the middle of falling. The back side of the house, when you walked in the front, it looked great. You know, when you seen it from the front, y'all look awesome. But as you got to the back of the house, you realize that a lot of the doors barely opened. You know, you realize that the sink, that the uh, that the floor was sinking, it had almost sunk a foot. You know, so there was like a foot drop off, and that's because of the foundation issues that it was having. Literally, the the basement foundation was just falling in you know the whole back side of the house was just falling in and because of that you know you limit your buyer pool you know who's interested in buying a house that's falling over <laughs> you know you're gonna have to put significant money you know into into that to make it work and of course banks are not gonna be able to finance that you know if whoever's giving you funding you know you're not going to be able to get the appraisal because you don't know if the house is going to literally collapse tomorrow because it's in the middle of falling you know um from the time we closed on it to we had to get an engineer's you know inspections and plans and all those kinds of things for the foundation and so we wasn't able to start the rehab for a month it had already dropped another two inches you see what i'm saying so we had to you know so before we started we had to go ahead and just put in like uh like these steel beams to support to make sure it didn't fall even more but because we were able to connect with these sellers before they listed on the market because you know it had this particular issue that not a lot of people wanted to deal with or just don't even know how to deal with we're able to no negotiate you know the best terms possible 
you know even though it wasn't like a quick close it was a 45 day close okay it was a cash offer and uh and we was able to get it at an amazing price we got it our acquisition got the deal for one hundred and twenty thousand dollars and then our acquisition company sold it to another llc that i owned for one hundred and thirty thousand dollars <laughs> so i was able to walk away with ten thousand dollars just for buying it boy <laughs> anyway we'll talk about all of that in uh in the next one let's get let's get over here to home depot without getting you guys too excited about this one but we're gonna make some cheddar we'll get into that later you know i'm rocking with work and living safe it's like that baby Probably the first tip out of this video I'm about to give here is has something to do with Home Depot. Look, I like I like going to Home Depot because um, number one, my RIA, okay, the my local triad RIA that I'm a part of, you know, we get special discounts because we're a part of the RIA, um, particularly our paint, but also whenever you you know sign up for like the pro account, essentially you can. You know, you can add all of your different cards that you're going to be using to buy stuff. And every time you like swipe something, um, you'll get like these points and these points will add up, you know, and it's not even really like a point system. It's more like a like a how much you spend system. And then you'll get either a fifty dollars off or, or you'll get like one hundred dollars towards two rentals. So just depending on how you want to use it. Uh, let's see what we need. All right. So. What we need first is we're gonna grab a we're gonna grab a light fixture for what I'm calling the office um, at the spot. So let's see what they got. Nice. And here we go. So this is like uh, the area that we're gonna be getting a light for is what I'm calling the office, but it doesn't have heating and cooling in there. So I'm gonna get something that got a fan and a light. Now what y'all think? What y'all think? See, I think something like this, 52 inches, I think that's a little too big. I feel like that's a little too big for my area. That look a little sleek. That's 44. That's nice. But it's not. See, it says it says indoor only right there. So that might not hold up over time. Let's see what we got. See now, that right there seems pretty cool that one right there it kind of got that industrial look got a small fan in there and it got a light but that bad boy right there 209 Jeez. this one right here now that one says indoor covered area outdoor that one got a little led light it just ain't sexy i don't know why that that right there just don't look sexy to me that one looks sexy it's just for indoor only and of course, my with my taste, I would like the most expensive one. Ain't that crazy how, how it works? Let's go on the other side, see what they got. Now that one ain't bad, indoor use only, of course. See, what happens is when they're indoor use only, what happens is like whatever they're made out of, which is like, um, which is essentially like compressed sawdust, you know, the ones that's for the interior, they're not like full, you know, things of wood. It's just, you know, compressed sawdust. Well, once that compressed sawdust gets a little moisture on it, you know, especially if you got it in a non heated and cooled area, that's how mold is started, right? Then it'll just like start to break up over time. So, which is, which is just ugly, you know? And, and granted, we're not keeping this as a rental property. We're just selling it, but still we want to set our people up that we sell into you know good we want to have a good representation um about our stuff man check out this one right here that's not bad and got a little light on it and got some fans on it little farm kind of style look indoor and covered area right there and that's what it looks like and 
is only $99. We're gonna have to take that. All right, so we down one. Next thing we need is we need uh, locks. Okay, we need some locks. You know, I don't really know if everybody does this, but like whenever I buy a house, you know, I like to change the locks, you know. Now, this one, we had to change the, we had to change the front door on and honestly, the back door was kind of just open because we was doing that foundation issues. But even before that, somebody broke in and stole the plumbing. So that was annoying. But now that we're almost done with it, I want to go ahead and uh, secure it up. I want to go ahead and secure it up because now I don't want nobody messing up our hard work when we're almost to the end. So let's see. Now I got a really nice door, so I want some really nice locks. See, I got like a modern door. I'll show you guys the door, but I don't know. That silver ain't doing it. Look at this one, guys. I think we're gonna go with something like this because that's modern enough, $109. Yep, see, that's too old. Don't do that on your flips, too old. Now, random thing is if you guys look on here, you'll see like a little code so the keys can match up. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. So here's like a, a key code. And so if you, we're gonna grab a back door set, we just need to make sure that the key code matches. Now, from my experience, don't be messing with these ones with the janky boxes. You know, from my experience, people be returning a bunch of stuff at Home Depot. So you don't wanna be getting somebody else's trash. And the craziest thing is none of these have the same code. Look at that, that is just crazy. So I guess we're not gonna have to, I guess we're not gonna worry about it then since we're not, cause we just need something. So let's just grab, let's just grab this one. Yeah, I really like making sure that the key codes match. It just makes things easier for the people who buy it, but we ain't keeping it. So ain't no need in stretching our, stretching it and making it harder for ourselves. Next thing on our list is the mirror. So let's go check out some mirrors. All right, and I believe, I think, I think I come in here enough to know everything is. And yes, the mirrors are down here. So let's see, we got these kinds of mirrors. Now this is going in the bathroom vanity. So keep that in mind. Ooh, that's kind of fancy though. That's kind of fancy. Let's see, and then they got these ones, these medicine cabinet ones, but that's not really my style with the flips. I'm not really trying to go for storage. I'm trying to go for style. We want to be styling, bro. And I typically go with that one, and I think I'm just going to go with that one. Okay, that one's $89. Where is it at? Where she blow? I think this is it here boom and this is a 24 inch so our vanity in that bathroom is a 36 inch so one one thing to keep in mind is that anytime you're getting a mirror for your bathroom that's going to go over the vanity you always want the mirror to be smaller than the vanity it looked crazy and out of proportion and just not you know i don't know decoratively sound i guess i don't know so just a little design advice advice from your boy this is me taking action so hold on, let's make sure we got what we got. We got the mirror, we got the locks, we got that fan. There was something else. Oh, we need to get a bathroom faucet for the vanity. So notice how there's these bathroom faucets that have one, two, three holes. But there's also these faucets that have just one hole, okay? Uh, and then these are here that look like this, they'll just have one as well. So you'll need to make sure that your faucet, that your vanity has the amount of holes that you need. And I'm pretty sure mine has three holes, I think. I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> now, randomly, just so you know, um, Delta is the superior brand, in my opinion. You know, American Standard, they're okay, but Delta, in my opinion, is always like the superior brand if you're looking for your own personal house. Glacier Bay will be like the cheaper ones, you know. Um, but in my opinion, you don't want that in your personal house. You put that in little rental properties, you know, and stuff like that. Um, 
but uh but yeah so i think i'm gonna grab you guys haven't really seen the vanity yet but i think i'm gonna grab i think i'm gonna grab this one that delta one right there all right my guy that's gonna lock us in uh so i think that's gonna be what we need i already got <coughs> excuse me i already got ceiling fans i already got exterior lights um i already got the recess cans I think these are just the last little bits that I needed, prayerfully, so we don't have to come back, but we might. <laughs> so let's go check, let's go check out. Let's see how much money we about to spend. And we, so we got a grand total of $500. And we made it. So I thought I was about to be able to use uh, one of those $50 credits that I was telling y'all about. Cause like uh, like I was telling you, every five thousand um, dollars, you get uh, like a fifty dollars you know credit. And uh, normally I don't you know I don't ever use them in the store, so I should have known I couldn't use it. Um, but yeah, you have to use it on like an online an online purchase. Uh, and if you don't use it on an online purchase, then you have to print out the little paper with the little barcode, and they scan the barcode at the desk. And so of course I didn't have that. Hold on. I got a bunch of random stuff. Not a bunch of random stuff, but I got a bunch of stuff in my truck because we had an event over the weekend. So I still got my signs in here that I haven't put up. You know, we'll have uh, events at the manor. That's our that's our 22, 22 acre estate homestead. And that's one of the ways we make money is by throwing events. So my truck looks a mess. I, and I just got back from Miami. Had two closings yesterday. Just listed a new Airbnb. All of that good stuff. <laughs> Let's head over to uh, my house on Kerry that we need to drop this stuff off at so you guys can check it out. Now, I done had to make a quick detour. So it's getting dark, so we're gonna have to hurry up. I actually forgot. I had actually forgot that I ordered signs for the manor. Let me show y'all. I ordered signs. These are it right here. See, one for the parking lot area and then one for uh, our first property. But it sits on um, this little post right here with this little solar panel light to light it up. You know what I'm saying? And then bam! So my battery's low, so I'm not gonna be able to show y'all the house, but that's a good reason to come back for the next video and I'll show you guys the house. See you guys on the next one.